Effigy Incubator is a monthly distraction and diversion, or D&D for short, which is required for the Master Questscape. You can do this twice a month using monthly reset tokens, allowing you to complete this requirement within the also reasonable time of 6 in real life months. Yeah, that's a very long time. But fortunately, there's a way to speed this up using Anachronia resources. I will tell you how to do so and how this D&D works in general on this video. So leave a like if you find this useful. Let me know what other guides you would like to see and subscribe if you are new. Without further ado, let's talk about it. The requirements for this D&D are quite simple. You need to have completed the Sins of the Father quest. To complete the Master Quest Cape requirement, you need to collect the 12 research journal entries, which you collect one of for every completion of the activity. So without using monthly reset tokens, that will take you 12 months to complete. Yet, if you talk to Vincidithus, or however you pronounce his name, you can ask him, is there any way I can speed up your research? Which will give you the option to use your Anachronia resources to unlock an extra journal entry. If you have a lot of requirements left for Trim or Master Quest Cape, I wouldn't bother using this option unless you have zero other needs for these resources or this being your last requirement. Now onto the activity itself and unlocking the journal entries through gameplay. It's quite simple. You start the game by talking to Vincidithus Calibrate the machine by turning the valves he tells you to turn, activate the effigy incubator, and wait. Yes, you can literally sit there and do nothing at all for 5 minutes and get your journal entries done that way. However, I wouldn't recommend that, as you will be losing out on some free experience because the skilling nodes in this activity give you 2500 experience per action in either crafting, runecrafting, smithing, or invention. So it's kind of a waste not to do it and you're there anyway. So there are two ways to go about this, being a nerd and trying hard by making the effigies, or the laid back version by just interacting with the nodes for experience. If you go for option 1, you want to collect enriched materials from the nodes you want experience in, which randomly spawns effigy remnants that will give you materials much faster and should be your focus once they appear. Aim to get around 200 materials if you get 2 remnant spawns and 180 if you only get 1. Next up, you want to collect 10 effigy casings from the middle part of the arena if you gather 200 materials and 9 if you gathered 180. Next up, you want to create the effigy at the workbench and put them in the incubator before the time runs out to get them doubled for some extra experience on top of what you already got. Now if you're like me and want a more laid back approach, Simply interact with your preferred skilling node for the 5 minute game timer and handing in the chippings to Fins Dithers to get your reward points. And that's all. Everything you need to know to get your master quest cape requirement done. I hope this was useful and if it was, consider leaving a like and subscribe for more completion escape, trim completion escape and master quest cape guides. But for now, I'll see you guys in my next video.